I've been telling everyone for years that no matter who wins this election, November 5th is going to be a dark day. Because if Trump wins, there will be chaos. And if Trump loses, there will be chaos. Because if he loses, he'll say once again that the election is rigged and call his minions for an insurrection. And his new panic over the popularity of the Democratic ticket means he's already setting the stage for an insurrection. Political commentator Charlie Sykes was on MSNBC yesterday. That was August 12th. And here's what he said. It is sad, and we can make fun of it. It is, it is alarming. But it's also profoundly dangerous what is going on, because you look at that insane tweet, and it's not just that he's he's going down this rabbit hole of fever swamp conspiracy theories. He's he's using this as uh, as uh, as you know, as, as, as a way of saying that the Democrats are cheating, that Kamala Harris should be disqualified. Look, put this in the larger context of what's happening. This is pre-election denialism by Donald Trump. Um, it's no mystery. Donald Trump is never going to graciously concede defeat in this election. He is already laying the groundwork for what's going to happen after November. And I think this is going to be an extraordinarily dangerous period. He has election deniers in key states. His base is psychologically not prepared for him to lose. And as, as, and as George mentioned, um, this is a desperate man. Donald Trump yeah. will not simply lose the election. Donald Trump knows that if he is not elected president, he may be going to jail. He will do and say anything. And you see in that tweet, not merely the fact that he is rattled and losing it, but that he's already coming up with his lines for why he can deny the results of the election, how Kamala Harris's uh, nomination is unconstitutional, how this is being stolen, all of that in advance. So no one should be surprised or think that this fever is going to break on no, you know, on November 5th, because whatever happens, um, we are about to head into a very dangerous period in American politics, led by Donald Trump and obviously uh, as assisted by Republicans who simply have decided that they're not going to draw the line. Now, what did I say last week? Oh, yes. In spite of all the euphoria over a possible Harris Walls win, Election Day is going to be a dark day. So here's someone who agrees with me, Charlie Sykes. And he didn't even have a Jodas chart for that day. And he doesn't know what Maharishi said about it. He's using common sense. So all this fervor over two humans who are going to save democracy is a fantasy. So curb your enthusiasm. We have something coming that is far, far better than democracy. It's an era of perfection on earth where there will be no need for man-made government. Krishna, who was an incarnation of God, an avatar, said 5,000 years ago that our generation, in our generation, there would be pralaya, a period of destruction, and then the golden age will come. His contemporary, Mark and Dea, said the same. His Holiness, Maharishi Mahesh Yogi, in our time, was more precise. He said the golden age comes 2024 to 2025, and that it will be preceded by mass destruction. The military will have to intervene. This is what I saw, and the hillbillies are still practicing with their automatic rifles in the woods of West Virginia and everywhere else. But it will be temporary. Chaos always occurs when a normal state suddenly shifts into a state of perfect order. 
It's a law of physics and a law of thermodynamics. Look up the creation of superfluid helium, which has qualities of the infinite on Earth. The link is below. Everything I tell you on these videos comes from Maharishi and from my visions in the light. And if you haven't seen my other video, My Experience of God, go there after this video. You know everything there. They are only fortified by the Jyotish, so-called Vedic astrology. They do. These predictions do not come from psychics or spirits. Those sources are unreliable and dangerous to evolution. They are low souls not allowed here on earth, and they are not spiritual. They are not allowed here. That's why you have to go there to their domain to communicate with them. They don't belong here. So to get their partial knowledge, you have to surrender your will to their will. And that drains your evolution. They come inside of you and rob you of your consciousness. Then you get sick, and then you could die. It happened to Jane, what's her name, who was channeling Seth. I read about her back in when I was in junior high school in Life magazine. The first I had heard of it. Satyug is coming to our planet very soon, and the government that we had then will be self-rule, Ramraj, where you are all that exists. You create your own universe and explore it eternally. The survivors of this transition will be lifted to enlightenment, where each person will be one with God and perform action that is in tune with the laws of nature, with God's laws. It will be heaven, but it will be heaven on earth. Heaven and earth will exist at the same time, like a double exposure. In Sanskrit, the first language, the language of nature, Satyug means purity, and a yug is an era. So it's the era of purity, the era of sat, when perfection reigns and everyone on earth is one with God. Satyug usually lasts 1.7 million years, and it's not due for another 2 million years or so. But this will be a mini Satyug within the Dark Age of Kali Yug. Kali Yug won't exist then. What is coming will last 10,000 years with the possibility that we could extend it to the full era of 1.7 million years and even extend it to be eternal. We are now in the Dark Age of Kali Yug, which usually lasts 432,000 years, and we are only 5,000 years into it. Kali Yug is the age of ignorance. It's the age of destruction and darkness. It's a kind of ignorance where people think that they're enlightened, even when they're ignorant, and that they have some great new idea or new knowledge. It's the age of impurity. Impure thoughts and impure actions are considered to be normal. But these are relatively new ideas considering the lifespan of life on Earth. All the Yugas. In Kali Yuga, everything that is good is considered to be bad. 
and everything that is bad is considered to be good. This is where new and modern ideas come from, which have nothing to do with the ancient age of absolute purity. In Kali Yuga, the highest knowledge of how to experience God is rejected. It's distorted, diluted, and lost. And as it is revived and made available to everyone on earth, that perfect knowledge is considered to be evil, devil worship, against my religion, a religion that has never given anyone the experience of God, where the representers of this religion wear crowns. Read your own Bible where it says, ye shall know them by their fruits, and TM is good fruit that does only good. The only thing you're experiencing during the TM technique is your own consciousness. But more clearly and expanded. And then later, as you make progress, you will not only believe in God, you'll start to appreciate your religion more. You'll start to have glimpses of God and then more frequently, and then 24 hours a day, and eternally. That is coming for all who survive this coming destruction. And it's not going to come from the work of two politicians, vice president and president, no matter who they are, they don't have the power to do that. They're going to give us the same old, same old fighting in Congress. And this time, fighting in the streets. <laughs>